Like last 24 hours, for God's sake, the last couple of weeks have been angst-ridden. Number one, number two, shocking. Number three, extremely humbling. And the honest truth, with the people that have done so many things in this country and the world, this goes to prove that any government can make a mistake. Sort of unannounced, the president walked in, and a couple seconds later, the first lady walked in, and they greeted us all, talked to us very warmly and all that. They went through the different steps that we were going to do, how we, where we would sit. We went through the ceremony. And I got to tell you, it was very cool because my family and our dean of the founding dean of the FIU College of Medicine, the Herbert Wertheim uh, FIU College of Medicine, sat right in the very front row. And then after that, we all went into a room, and they all got to meet the president, the first lady. They, we had photo sessions, and then we moved into the reception. I was, I was just, I, I, I was shocked. I was, in, I was, amongst that t type of company, you reinforce that they made a mistake with me. So I'm thinking, I'm going to trip, I'm going to fall, something's going to happen, you know. <laughs> Everybody will leave. Oh, there's that guy, you know. But it, it was, it was humbling, it was exhilarating, it was shocking, it was in many ways, and I think as he said, uh, as agents of change, if you looked at all the people that were there, Desmond Tutu, what he had done with apartheid, what he did after apartheid, Mohammed Yunus, what he's done with microloans, Mary Robinson, Sandra Day O'Connor, I mean, realizing that this woman graduates number one in her, or number three in her class in two years at law school at Stanford, well, one of the top two, three law schools in the country, and she gets offered a job as a legal secretary, a paralegal. And she con t turns out to be a Supreme Court justice. And you meet these people that have just broken barriers like you won't believe. Oh, by the way, Sidney Poitier, too, who was extremely cool. You know, uh, it was just looking at this, and, and, and to me it was saying, we can make the world better. We, if, if we collectively all work together, if we have the right moral basis of what we're going to do, if we learn to be accepting of others, we can make a difference. And that's what we're doing at FIU. Yeah, well, the, the, the reality is we started this years ago for a simple reason. There was an injustice and you wanted to right an injustice. And the, the tragedy is the injustice is worse. There are more that are poor. There are more that are homeless. There are more without health care. So from the perspective of saying, from what I did, I did what my oath told me to do. Was I successful? Were the problems worse? We're not. I think where the success comes in, though, is here at the FIU College of Medicine, and I'll tell you why. Because if we can set the base for students to get back to social justice, the ethics of medicine, with, with the science and the clinical skills that are needed, then we have an army of young, young, young physicians that can go out and really save the world. And, 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 when I, and I say that to the students all the time about saving the world. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding when I say they got three years. We'll extend it to four. But the, the reality is that's the attitude you have to have as a physician. We become a country where too often medical school becomes a place where you go to get richer. Where you're supposed to go to medical school, you're all going to do very well in medical, after medical school, believe me. The reimbursements are there. But when did it become socially acceptable that we said no to a patient just because they had no money? Where's the ethics there? Where's the morality? We're going to change all that. And that's the beauty of FIU. And maybe we'll even get a winning football team. I mean, that's, that's what you're hoping for. You're hoping for that combination. Save the world and a winning football team.